alive now. Hi. Hi, Hi everybody. It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, Do you love me? Of course. Of course, I love you too. There we go, good. <laughs> you are going to kiss me then. <laughs> you moved away. Oh. Kisses to all of you out there. Happy Valentine's Day. We don't really celebrate it, do we? We have no. a meal at home and a bottle of wine. That's no different from any other Monday, really. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> anyway, we've got um, a special Valentine's treat for you today because Alfie's done a special offer, haven't you? Another special offer, yes. Yes. So above you can see in the corner there we go um yeah. like comment and share for a chance to win any a6 stamp of your choice four to be one and um we've also got 20 percent off the product that k is going to use today use code valentine in checkout um, and that's for today only so you'll see what product she's using and there's 20 percent off that today that's cool. it excellent well okay. done. Hi lovely ladies. Hi Wendy. Lorna. Hi Jill darling. Hope you're feeling better. David. Archangel. Hi everyone. Okay so today I'm going to do a little bit of crackle and we're going to visit an old, um, an old stamp. Uh, a very loved stamp called Love Is. I'm sorry, Duke is is pacing because he wants a biscuit, but he's had a few today. Oh dear, excuse me, I said the wrong word. I'm going to have to give him a biscuit now, aren't I? This is the famous biscuit. Come on then, come on, biscuit. Come on then. Good boy. He's a good boy. He's a beautiful boy. Yes, okay, go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, do you want to join me over here and we'll get started? Righty, so I'm going to use Lovey's, which is a, a lovely stamp that we had, oh, such a long time ago. But it was really funny because yesterday Ella came to me and said, could I have your help, please? And I was like, yes. She says, I want to make a Valentine's Day card. And I think that's the first Valentine's Day card she's ever made. The first crafting she's ever done, isn't it? It's the first crafting she's ever done, apart from maybe a bit of colouring in at school or... You know, that sort of thing. Kathy's joining us from Texas. Hi, Kathy from Texas. Glad you could join us. So I'm using Versamark and I'm going to be using um, White Cliffs of Dover embossing glaze. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go through what I'm using today. So I'm also using the Crack On Glaze. Um, I'm going to be using a red paint. This happened to be a translucent one, red hot chili. Um, I'm also going to be using our grab and go. And along with that, those little writer bottles, which are so handy. Um, and also I'm going to be using our acrylic matte paint in fair as well. Also, I've got some bits of ephemera. This is the ephemera pack of um i think this is called art nouveau perfume bottles but it's lovely there's some really lovely images in here i've cut out little bits um yeah there's not much left actually well there's still quite a few but i've used quite a lot of these already so i'm using those and I'm also using the Vintage Floral Ephemera Pack as well. I just love the colours of these. I like that lovely background as well colour because that is very similar to my Fair Paint as well. So I love these, they're gorgeous. All designed by um, our friend Ian, who's very, very clever at that sort of thing. 
um, and I'm going to be using um, some craft card, some super smooth card and that's about it really. So I'm using some Versamark and a stamping platform. Because my hands aren't as great, I might have to stand up for this. Because I don't have the strength really in my hands. So I'll just do that again in the middle. My friend Anne did actually give me something that might be useful, but of course I left it in the house, didn't I? I wonder whether that magnet is in the way, so I can't get clean. Ah, oh, it's that magnet. It's in the way. Just move those up a little bit. That's better. That's better. Okie doke. So I'm going to use the um, white Cliffs of Dover. This is ultra fine because these this line work is incredibly fine as you can see. I mean it's ridiculously fine really. Um, this is not designed by any of our team, this is a, a bought image. There we go, and I've just got a little bit of embossing powder there. What I did do is I did give it a swipe with um, a little embossing powder bag. It's like putting a bit of baby powder on it. When I'm embossing, I just concentrate on one area before I then chase it round. Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at the little bird, hummingbird. Yeah, that's really sweet. That's lovely. So um, I've got one here that I did just before we went on air. All I've done is just roughed up the edges. Okay, so I'll just put that to one side for a moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this. This is for the background. This is going to be the crackle glaze. So for the background, let me just clean my brush. I'm just going to have red hot chili. So basically this is a translucent. So as you can see, you can see the white card through the paint. I'm just going to slap this on. It doesn't have to be perfect at all because this is just what the cracks are going to be the colour of. You'll see what I mean. And then when that's dry, in fact you can heat set it this. As you can see, it burns off the pigment, but for demo purposes, I'm I'm in a hurry. But I would just leave it to dry. It's only going to take 10 minutes to dry. And then you get your crack on glaze. Okay, this only works with acrylic paint, by the way. It won't work with our gesso. And Super Smooth Card is great because it's a slick surface and it gives the paint um, enough time to move or it's slick so that the cracks can appear. If you use a, a rough watercolour card it's not going to be as effective because it's too rough for the paint to separate um, and move. You've got to think of like, I don't know, I can't think of an analogy. Analogy? <laughs> Not an allergy, analogy. <laughs> You're terrible, you are. And then, <laughs> and then leave that to dry until it's. 
tacky but there's a, a couple of areas I think are a little bit not quite dry I did this just before we went live maybe 10 minutes 10 15 minutes yeah that's not bad that's not bad at all okie doke so this is the fun bit but the thing is you've got to be really quick because as soon as that paint hits that surface it's going to it's going to try and separate so it's going to crack immediately so the trick with this is to paint it and then step away so i tend to use a, a wider brush so i'm just going to put some paint on my mat here ready oops a daisy maybe not as much as that and i'm just going to go for it okay see you shouldn't try and do that okay see it's cracking already it's brill my goodness, I don't think I've said brilliant since I was about seven. Oops, disappearing. So you can see that this is super smooth card, so you're getting a really, really good, good crackle. There we go. And then leave it. Leave it alone. Step away from it. Don't try and brush more on because all you're going to do, excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, just go over the cracks and cover them up. So let me just clear that up. Isn't that fab? I really like that a lot. So this is one that I did a few minutes before we went um, live and this has had time to dry a little bit oh no it's still it's still quite quite wet but i quite like this one because it i've gone in different more different directions but that's that's cracking really nicely the thicker you paint the bigger the cracks the thin thinner the paint the smaller the cracks just remember that okay so i'll just put that to one side while we have a bit of a a play so I thought I'd get some of this ephemera out and just have a little bit of a play to decorate this out. So I've got one of these and instead of using the whole thing behind there, I've cut out the spare bit so that I'm not going to waste any at all because that would be really silly and I'm just roughing the edges of these I think that would do quite nicely so I'm going to take out the middle and that's going to go under there so I always lay these out first before I stick them down and then I just build up I've got a piece of um, linen here and a bit of a tape measure and a brad and I thought that might look pretty cool there but um, It'll cover that up. Never mind, never mind. It will cover it up, but hey ho. Said, does the paint flake off if you bend the card? Does the paint flake off if you bend the card? No, I haven't. No, I haven't found that. If you find that, um, I would put a layer of matte medium over the top, a uh, sapaton matte. Um, over the top and that will secure it and um, then if you do anything further over the top I don't think she's found it, I think it was just a question Oh okay mm -hmm. I think if you were to use something like um, 
like a mirror card, something really, really f um, shiny. Um, but it shouldn't do, really. But anyway, I would use my medium, slap it on that if that's the case. And I thought it'd be really nice. I've got a little heart key there, so I thought it'd be nice to put it onto a, a bulb pin. These are all on the website, aren't they, Alfie? The bulb pins now. Are they? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll put them on. Okay. What's it called? Bulb pins. Bulb pins. As in, it's the shape of a bulb, light bulb. No, they're not. On. <laughs> I'm going to just put a tiny drop of glue behind that, stop it moving around. And just like that. So I always like to have a little bit of fabric or something going on. Yep, it's stuck there. Just that's nice. Okay, um, which is the one that's dry? Obviously not that one because I've just put my thumb in it. <laughs> I think I might just leave it for a bit <laughs> before I start messing about. And also it's got a little bit of ready pink in it so I thought this this might look really nice as a, as a section as well. So just tear some edges. Let's have just a hint of that coming through. So Would look quite nice. Said so many crackle mediums do come off, um, but she's had no problems with with yours. Oh, thank you, thank you very much for that, Art Angel. I know I'm, I said I wouldn't stick down, but um, I don't expect you to just sit there while I faff. So I'm just going to go for it. There we go. And this is, if you haven't got any grab and go, please try it because it is really, really good. It's an, um, it's an acrylic glue. And, um, and so... And it dries really quick, which is fabulous because if you're doing stuff like this, you know, you don't want things sliding all over the place at all when you're trying to get it done. So I'm just putting tiny, tiny little fractions of, of paper and ephemera and stuff rather than matting and layering with just straight card I just find this a little bit more interesting and normally I would uh, have a look at it on um, on some matting so I could gauge what it's going to look like but we haven't got time for that we're just going to go for it and I think we might have, um, let's see what else we have here. Okay. Um, yeah, I would normally put a little bit of lace on actually, but it's over there. So I'm just going to carry on doing this. It would be nice to have a tiny droplet of red here or something red that would go with it. Let me just try that, try all that out. Chili, maybe. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of a charm or something. Yeah. But yeah, good suggestion, Alfie. Really Very good. I'll tell you what, should I do that? Just because you suggested it. <laughs> okay, want a little bit of a, unless you want me to do a heart. Okay, let me see if I can do a heart. Is 
See, I'll have to concentrate. I've gone quiet now. I'll have to concentrate to do a little heart. There you go, darling. Very just, good. just for you. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, darling. I love your support. It's very encouraging. <laughs> Okay, so we need to just figure out this corner here. Oh, look what was on the back. Maybe I should have used that. Too late now. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing no, at? No, no, it's great. <laughs> Is it rubbish telly? No! <laughs> <laughs> Listening to me talk to myself. <laughs> I've sometimes got to check what it actually says because sometimes it's not not always great. That'll do. I'll stop faffing if you insist, Alfie. <laughs> right, let's see how this is getting on. Right, so we've got... Let me get some clean paper underneath that. Now let's see what happens when I actually finish drying it off. Um, I actually prefer this one though. I like I like the the fact that it's got a bit more crackle to it yeah let's let's have a go with this so it's already cracked so in theory it should be okay just to give it a blast and dry it off can you get me a piece of um craft card out of the drawers please darling it's about five down that's it I'm cutting a piece that measures six and a quarter by six and a quarter, please. I've got him working now. My assistant, what with Ella doing the crafting and Alfie helping out. Ooh, real family affair. Yes, it's okay. It's not harming it. Thanks, darling. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's not not bad. And the trouble is, then I go and cover it up. There we go. So let's let's get this on here. By the way, if you um if you you buy some of this grab and go for the first time, let me just show you. Let me put this down then I'll show you. It does have a, a stopper in it for safe travel. Oh, it's not quite dry, but try not to. Yeah, can you see? Okay, so if you buy this for the first time, you take the whole top off from here and you take the cap out of there put this back on nice and tight and then to open it it's this this one here you just turn that can you see how the nipple disappeared and then it's um it's all free to use and then when you finish you just close that and the nipple pushes out any excess glue and then it never gets clogged up very clever really like that that's looking really nice well then i spoil it by putting that on top and covering it all up but hey ho, that's that's the. Uh, I could of course cut the middle out and saved it, but but we haven't got time for that. To leave it to dry. There we go. So there's lots of bits sticking up so you just need to hold them down for about three seconds and then that should 
there we go so that could either be a card or it could be a journal page whichever you can put some words on I think that would be really nice with a few words on actually I might put those on later um, happy um, happy Valentine's Day Alfie this is your Valentine's Day card <laughs> there we go excellent so just to recap with your um, crack on glaze so I painted the surface with matte paint, with acrylic paint to begin with. That's the important thing. It doesn't matter whether it's, sorry, it was that one, wasn't it? It was um, red hot chili. So that's the colour of the crackle that's going to appear. Um, it didn't matter whether it's translucent or matte, but not metallic. Just make sure that it is an acrylic paint and it's matte or translucent. Then we put a layer of this on when it was dry, nice and thin. It's very fluid, as you can see. So you only need a really thin layer. And then when that's dry, you put your second color of acrylic paint on. And that it, you have to put on very, very quickly and not over overwork it because it cracks immediately. So super easy, super um, simple. And the most important thing for me is it's really quick. So what news have we got to tell you? Um, well, first of all, I'll just um, reiterate what Alfie said, which is we have got that um, special offer he's put on our website called, and it's called Valentine, for 20% off a selection of products that I've used today. So what people can do is search for Valentine in the search box and it'll bring Speak up, up a bit. What people can do is search for Valentine in the search bar and it will bring up all of the products that Kay's used and each of those has 20% off if you use the code Valentine in the uh, at checkout. Super, thank you. But of course you can get, get this free if you, all you have to do is like, comment and share for a chance to win the A6 stamp. That's what I'm pointing at here. This is what you get um, if you're one of the four to be chosen at random. Just like, comment and share. And thank you so much, everybody. Um, I will be back next week with a sneak peek. Mind your tail, mind your tail, Duke. Duke, come on. Sorry, his tail was right in the way with a very, very quick sneak peek of, you ready for this? Don't blink. Oh. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? There it is again. That's only two of them. So we'll have a sneak peek of what we'll be doing on the craft store stroke Crate and Craft on February the 24th and 25th. So I'm on at 4 p.m., 8 p.m. on the 24th and 8 a.m. on the 25th. And it's going to be called a new and exclusive show. So it's like a one day special, but squashed into three hours. And um, we're going to be releasing lots of glorious new products little hint there for you um but watch next week and i'll give you a preview of everything um it's lovely to see so many um people join us thank you so much and um i hope that was um fun and um you enjoyed it and see you next week take care out there be kind to each other say bye alfie bye bye, bye. say bye say bye duke saying bye as well